Hey guys, this is Good Money Stewart coming at you on a Monday. And I'm still having issues with my camera, like I said. There are certain times this thing will let me work, certain times it won't. But hopefully I can get through this video. Um, there is a, first of all, how's everybody doing? I hope your Monday was fantastic and it, you had a fabulous day on purpose like Miss Black Gold always says. Uh, I just want to say hello to everyone. Praying that your weather is beautiful where you are. Yesterday, well, Sunday, uh, beautiful day. Cool, it was in the 60s, 70s, no humidity. The day is starting to warm back up again, but it's still a good day. Um, Miss uh, Karen Deneen, I am so hurt that that piece got broke in the mail. I know you love blue, and when I saw it, I thought I got to get this. So... You know what, I'm happy you got it, I'm happy you like the things, but I'm also kind of heavy and hard that that spoon had to get uh, broken in the process of it getting mailed to you. But you know what, it came from my heart and um, like I say, you always have such a giving spirit and for you to bless me in the way that you did, I I'm just, just grateful. So I just want to um, shout out, uh, it's so many people you know on here that have blessed me and I continue to be blessed by all the videos of new subscribe uh, new uh, youtubers and uh, subscribers and it's, it's just a blessing and so I just want to say this real quickly I generally get off from work at one o'clock my hours are from seven to one but today I did not get off at one I got off at four it was a long day guys but you know what? God is so much smarter than we are. Um, if I had a got off at one, I would have missed the assignment that he had for me. And so with that, Juliana, go in there and cut that stove off because I do not want that to burn. I had to come straight in here and start cooking because if I had sat down, we would not have had dinner tonight. I, I got to do things when they're on me. But um, like I said, God had an assignment for me today. So um, I got off from work, it's hot. I'm looking at my video uh, from uh, Karen and uh, check out her channel, you guys. Check out so many channels. Honestly, I'm gonna get my act together and I'm gonna start calling off these channel names. You know, sometimes you hear more names than other. It's not intended that way because there are other, uh, only in my dreams, uh, Oh, pretty and flawed, Miss Black Go. I can't think of everybody right now, and I guess because those are the ones I kind of started off when I first started. But there are some fabulous, fabulous. You know, give everybody a try. Just give everybody a try. But back to the subject of God's assignment for me today. So I get off, and I'm like, just want to come straight home. So it's like, no, you need to go by the post office. You got to go check and see if you got any mail in there. And so I go, and as I'm driving down the street, I see this older gentleman, and it's kind of warm, guys, and he's got on these heavy clothes, and, and I'm like, Lord, what is this man doing out here? He's, he's barely, he's taking like, if you ever watched the Carol Burnett show, the little old man, and he's barely walking Tim Conway, well, this is how this man was walking. So I go in there, get my mail out, I come out, and it's bare, he's barely taking any steps. So it's like... You're going to give him a ride. Simple as that. You're going to give him a ride. And I'm like, okay, Lord. So I go and I'm halfway across the street. And he's standing on the other side. And I'm like, sir, would you like a ride? And he looks at me. He said, I sure would. So I said, well, come on. I said, take your time. Don't rush because he's on a cane walking. He's got a bag in his hand. So, you know, he gets in the car. And I'm saying, well, you tell me where you live. And uh, he didn't live far from where the post office was. So he told me, and his name was Mr. Freeman, and so I'm riding with him, and he said, well, I got off the bus, and I'm like, you took the bus downtown? And he's like, well, yeah. He said, I got to go pay my gas bill. I got to have my gas and my lights, and I'm saying, you know, I know you got to do what you got to do, and it's so sad. Sometimes I wonder, where's the kids? Where, where's, if, if he had children, how come they couldn't come and take him, you know, I don't know. That's just my thinking. But anyway, he gets to talk, and sweet gentleman, and I'm like, okay, Mr. Freeman, you go in that house, and you get comfortable. He said, 
I sure will. He said, I can't wait to get out of these shoes. And it just hurt my heart because he was walking. If he would have kept walking, it would have took him at least another 40 minutes. And I'm not kidding. And he didn't live far from there. So God had that assignment for me today. And that's why I'm like, God, I, I'm just blessed that I am able to bless others. I believe that you should be a giver. If you have nothing but your car to give somebody a ride, then give them a ride. Give them a ride. You know, it's all it's not always about the money factor. Money's good, don't get me wrong, because I like money. But there are other ways that you can bless people. And I just I just I love being able to bless people. I do. I just I have no I have no issues with it. There's nothing wrong with it. You know what? And sometimes we just get so focused on our needs. We tend to forget about others. And that's what I want to teach my granddaughter. Don't always got your hand out. Don't always have your hand out. That was bad English, y'all. So don't always have your hand out. And I think she's pretty good at that. But I want her to know it. Be, and another thing, be respectful of your elders. I see so many younger people who are so disrespectful to their elders. It saddens my heart. My mother and my father always told me, if I catch you disrespecting any of these elders, I'm going to tear your tail up. And you know what? We grew up to respect our elders. You know, I may not say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, but I know how to say yes and no and say it correctly. But nowadays, that's a whole nother story, y'all. And it's sad. It's sad. It's sad. But I thank God for that assignment today. I thank God how he's just an awesome and mighty God. I know y'all probably come on my channel and say, this lady always talking about God. You bet I am. And if you come on my channel, I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to show you hauls. I'm going to show you crafts. I'm going to show you all of that. But my biggest agenda, which I'm finding out, is to tell you about the love of Christ. Christ loves you so much that he gave his life for you. And that's something I need to continue to express on this channel. If I never hit a million viewers or a seven that I, you know what? I've done my assignment. And that is why I told the Lord, I said, Lord, help me just to tell people how much you love them. Because I know how much he loves me. He loves me. He loved me so that he hung and he died on that cross for me. Now, whether you believe it or not, that's on you. I can't make you believe it. You know what? And I'm not going to pound it in your head. But every time you come here, I'm going to tell you that Jesus loves you. That he died for you. He gave his life for you. Nobody on this earth, on this earth, has done that that I know. So you know what? Yes, I, I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell it. But I'm going to show you guys this real quick. Uh, at work today, my boss. <laughs> Woo, my boss. She said something so funny to me today. I uh, just made me cry. But you know what? She's a hard worker. She does. You know, sometimes people take her in the wrong way. And some days, whew, she's, she's hard on me. But she's fair to me. She's fair to me. And I think that's why a lot of times I will stay over. I will do even when I don't want to. But I see what she's trying to do. She wants the job to be a good place, especially for our residents. So they were doing a room and she came down today. And she said, Debbie, you want this? I looked at it and I was like, you, you giving me that? She said, yes, you can have it. Just take it. So it's, it's, it's some little items that I'm going to use to... I don't know. I thought about my bathroom. I'm not for sure yet. But it's this little silver tray. Isn't that cute? I'm going to wash them up. I don't know if I want to paint this. And I'm going to use it for something. And then I have this. And I might have to sand them down a little bit. They're all little trays that I can use in a room. And then it had the glass which I will probably use some napkins on this to redo it. And then this nice jar, she gave me that. And then, hopefully, let me get down from this table. These chairs, hi. Oops, don't wanna knock my picture down and bust it. But then she gave me this too. Can you see that okay? This, it's a uh, one, two, three, it's a three-tier uh, shelf. And so, it had just been sitting, so I'm going to repurpose that. And 
use that. How many minutes I got on there? My granddaughter's helping me with this. This is the only way I can, I can only do it this way. And like I said, I did an interview with uh, a lady by the name of Rovine. And the story is called Windows of Faith. And I am trying to get this interview that I did with her. It's a thrift store that is through their ministry at their church to get it downloaded. And I am having the most hardest time, but I'm asking God to show me how to be able to download this so I can put it on my channel. It is a thrift store here in Omaha, and I am so blessed by the store because of the way that they have um, put this thrift store together to bless the community. So y'all be praying for me that I get this downloaded so I can show it to you. And for those of you who are here in Omaha, it's on 28th and Ames. It's by the Washington, uh, Charles Washington Branch Library. Matter of fact, it's right across the street. And they have some fantastic uh, prices in there. And the clothing is so clean. I mean, you would think you were going into a little uh, shopping mall the way they've got this set up. So hopefully I can get that uh, out there and uh, to let you view that and see it. So... But that was my day today. I thank God for my assignment. I thank God for all the things that he's doing for me. And so with that, I'm going to let you go. And Miss Karen, um, thank you so much for being uh, on the uh, YouTube channel. And you know what? I'm going to tell all you subscribers out there this. Don't really worry about what people may think of your channel or what they may perceive of you. Because people are always going to perceive something. But as long as you know who you are, as long as, that's what's important. As long as you know who you are, don't let people dictate to you who they think you are. And I think Miss Karen is such a sweet lady. Um, I think every single one of the um, <coughs> YouTubers on here that I've encountered, they bless me. And there's many of you. I may not call your name, but there's many of you. I've met Miss Minnie Brown. Angel Sowell, uh, Kimberly, uh, and the gentleman's name I always get wrong, but it's S-H-A-D, last name Bailey. I haven't heard from you in a while either. I'm missing you. Um, and it, uh, the list can go on and on. I mean, uh, the, the girl comes on and she says, this Miss T, what my number looking like on here? Her, she was just drinking pink all week. And so I was like, pink all week. She was getting juices that from, from the Dollar Tree, and it was just pink. So she was doing that. Uh, who else can I mention real quick that I can think of? Sometimes I have to get on here with a list of people because, you know what, I don't want anybody to feel bad that I'm neglecting to, to mention them in a, uh, a video. But, oh, Wendy, uh, Weightless, Win uh, Weightless Wendy. I think that's, I'm getting you mixed up. But you know who I'm talking about. I love you. You're a beautiful person. Be encouraged. And I'm praying um, that your issues that you're facing, that you know what, you'll just cast them over to the Lord. Because the scripture says, casting all your cares on him because he cares for you. So it's just channels I love watching. I just simply love watching them. And you have blessed me. And I'm always telling people I have met the most wonderful people on this channel. So encourage one another guys don't get on here bashing one another if you don't like something about somebody you know get over it get over it you know just get over it so this is good money story and you know i know people get on here and they say subscribe to my channel and you know what i'm not even asking you to do that anymore i, I you know what i'm not asking anybody to subscribe if you stop by, I thank you. If you don't stop by, I thank you. You know what? Whatever God's purpose is for me on here, it's going to be completed. So with that, this is Good Money Stewart saying, God loves you, be blessed, and I'm going to eat dinner. Bye-bye.